Good morning. My name is Melvin Isaac. I am a professional artist, a member of the Fulton Art Fair, and a community producer at Brick Arts Medium. Today is Thursday, June 18, 2020. So, I'm a professional artist. I've been doing art uh, for the last 30 years, teaching and drawing and painting to young folks in the community, especially at-risk youth. Now, what I want to do today, because we all are cooped up into our apartment or house because of the pandemic, the epidemic of this virus. So art will relieve a lot of stress, tension, and anger because it's therapeutic. And also it will decrease your being bored inside your apartment because we have to follow the CDC guidelines of if you are going out, stay six feet away, make sure you uh, have your sanitizer, uh, wear a mask, and if you're feeling sick, uh, stay home or get tested. So these are things that we understand what we got to go through, but after a while, uh, we become bored, you know, inside your own place. So this will help you, part of the job that I'm going to use is to show you how to become on board and use your talent. Now, all of us have been born with a gift, a talent, through the grace of God. Whether you know it or not, you have that gift. My gift is drawing and painting. I also went to college, and with Inside College, I took up uh, an art class, and they showed me a lot of basic fundamental principles of drawing and painting. So I'm pretty much well equipped. Okay, so I'm going to start off with the first lesson, but before I do that, uh, I want to welcome you to my home art gallery. This is where I live at, is my apartment, and uh, I do all of my uh, drawings and painting here. Recently, I uh, got some order from Dick Blick, and uh, there I order a lot of uh, art material as well as frames for my art and the frames are outstanding. I'm going to show you some of it as well. And so once I'm finished it, I can put the uh, art piece inside the frame and I'll be ready to sell it. So let me start off with the first lesson and show you the various of methods or techniques how to put your picture onto your drawing paper as well as putting it onto the canvas or your canvas. Okay, so let me start that first. The first thing you want to do in terms of drawing your own portrait or anything, but we're going to start off with how to draw your self-portrait and take that picture and put it on a piece of paper, transfer to a piece of paper, and then uh, start drawing it. So there's various techniques and methods of doing it. The first thing you want to start off doing is taking your cell phone because you might not have a camera. You might not have all these other high cost 
things to do it with or a studio shot is going to take you a while but if you got your own camera uh, your celly so you take a, a shot of yourself so however you want it but make sure you get that big smile make sure you smiling good on it and once you have the correct take a few pictures you know close up of yourself because all you want is from your head to your chest and that would be your self portrait so you take a snap of yourself and make sure you're smiling uh, and once you finish that now you want to transfer your picture to your camera or you want to transfer your picture uh, to the other techniques that I'm going to show you how to put it on a piece of paper. So the next step after you take your picture you go to your photo and then you, you, you go to your computer what you want to do is connect your USB uh, on your cell phone to your computer and then you want to make sure you download there's an app that would take your pictures from your cell phone to your computer so there's an app and all you do is go to the uh, your internet and you can download it's free a free app and mine's is called gallery j3 orbit that's the name of my phone to get this because it's a Samsung so whatever your phone is you just go to the internet and you can download this particular app there and it's and it's a is a smart switch so it's a smart switch so once you get that you open up your file browser and once you get to your file browser you go to there is a uh, I'm going to take you to it right now it's called DCIM scroll down to DCIM and you click that and then you see camera so you click your camera and it's going to take you to everything that you have on your camera but you want to go to find that out you got to go to the date so the date that I just took my portrait picture today is the June 18th so 2020 so I see two of them says June 18th and what I want to do is highlight those two I'm going to highlight those two and I'm going to drag them to my desktop and that's it once you have it dragged to your desktop you have the pictures that you just took and now from the picture that you just took what I do I print it out now there's several ways you can print it out I go to my photo and I click on my photo first and I would take those two pictures that I just took and I would drag it to my photo and once it's inside my photo I would go to my file well first I would highlight both of those pictures and then I would go to my file and I would go to print and then I would print it out now once you go to print you can print it out any size that you want so I took the because I'm putting it on uh, the drawing paper and once I got that I printed it out and now I have the uh, the prints for it I want to show you that right now at a 4 by 6 and a 8 by 10 
the next step is to take these pictures and put it on the uh, drawing paper. Or you could put it on your canvas. Right now we're dealing with a drawing paper. But it's the same procedure. So the first thing we want to do is create a dark room. And once you create your own dark room, and then we'll take this picture, and I will show you that, because I'm creating my dark room in my apartment, which is the uh, kitchen. So I put a curtain over, I'll show you here. Is my projector. So I put the drawing paper on the wall and underneath the projector would be the picture right there. This is another way of transferring your picture onto your drawing paper and this is called a Porto Trace, better known as a light box because they have a switch that once you turn on the switch the light comes on and then you can see uh, your drawing paper over your picture. So it's very easy So now I just turned on the light. And basically on the right side is your drawing paper and the left is your picture. Now if you put your drawing paper over your picture, you can see your picture come right through on your drawing paper and all you want to do is transfer it with a pencil. I use a 2H pencil, you can use a 2B. Do it lightly and with a uh, neat eraser. This is a third way of transferring your picture onto a drawing paper. And this is called a grit. So in order to use the grit, you have to have a few things uh, to use in order to do it. So the grit is the, on the left side you will see my picture and it's broken down to eight boxes. Uh, your length and your width. So breaking down to eight boxes. Length and width. And on the right side is broken down to eight boxes as well, but you want to increase it, uh, the grid, because the grid on the left is a four by six. So four by six is the size of your picture that you want to use. Now you can use any size, but just so happened this is a four by six. So for demonstration, uh, you can increase that size to your drawing paper. So for instance, if you want to increase a 4 by 6 and you want to put it on a, a, a huge paper, uh, let's say you want to increase that size, you would double it and it would be a 8 by 12. So the one on the right would be an 8 by 12. But if you want to increase it even more, you increase it by 3, and it would be a 12 by 18. And if you want to increase it even more than that, you would increase it by 4, so it would be 16 by 24. So basically all you're doing is doubling the size of the, uh, your original picture. 
and you would use the grit, which is the uh, lines that you see on there, which is uh, in boxes. So the width is eight boxes, the length is eight boxes. You just have to break it down, and I will show you how to do that as well. All right, so now the material that you have to use for that is here. These are your material. So you have uh, the first one is a neat eraser, and then you have your pencils and an ink pen. And a, you can either use a plastic wrap, which you see through, or a uh, acetate, which is the one, the last one is a big roll of acetate. You just cut it off to what you need it for. So these are the materials that you use. And the first thing you want to do is put your plastic or your acetate onto your pitcher on the left. So the pitcher on the left, uh, this one is a four by six. And the first thing you want to do is cover that pitcher with a acetate or plastic wrap and use a, a tape with it. So you, you tape it where it doesn't come off the uh, plastic wrap or acetate. So that's the first thing you do. The next thing you want to measure your picture on the left with your ruler. So you want to take a measurement uh, of your width and you want to break them boxes down to eight. So you get eight boxes and then you take a measurement to your length and you want to break that down to eight boxes as well. So your length, your length is six and your width is four. That's the one on the left. So the first thing you want to do is break it down to your, your length. If it's six, so you want to break it down, half would be three, and then you keep going down till you get to uh, eight boxes. Same way with the, uh, the width half of uh, four would be two, and then you just keep breaking that down till you get to eight boxes. So that's how you do it, and you would use your pen to uh, make the lines. And that's the reason why you have the plastic or your acetate, because if you don't have no plastic acetate over your picture, you will have lines all over your picture and you would practically destroy your picture that you just had in order to uh, uh, look at it to see the details when you transfer it over to your drawing paper. So you don't want to do that. Okay, so it's going to take some time. This is the, uh, the original old way of doing things. This way I started off with, which is the grit is a little harder but it takes time and it educate yourself to learn about uh, math and basically pay attention to what you're doing so once you have that now you determine what size of your drawing paper that you want to use so if you decide that you want to use you want to increase that size the two, you times that by two, and that would give you a eight by 12 size drawing paper, if you want to increase that. So that's what I have up there on the right side, eight by 12. But if I want to increase it to 
even more, let's say three times, and I would times that by three, and that would give us a 12 by 18 drawing paper. So that's what you're doing. You, you actually doing the map, what size you want to use, and it would come out accurate. And if I want to increase it even more, uh, that four by six to four times the size of the uh, original picture, and that would come out to 16 by 24. So once you determine the, uh, the enlargement of the size of the drawing paper, and then you would do the same thing to the drawing paper. You were like on the right, you would determine if you wanted a, a 8 by 12 paper. So you would do the same thing. You would make eight boxes. The first thing you want to do is make sure it's squared out to 8 by 12 for your drawing paper. And then you will divide the lines in half and continue on uh, your length and your width until you get eight boxes on both sides. Now once you get eight boxes on both sides, you have the identical box that you have for your original picture. And so basically what you're going to be doing is you're going to be, it's like a number. You look at the boxes that you have on, you can start from the top and you see where the head falls in that. So you count down. And once you count down and you see the head and then you can, you can start determining which way it's going to go uh, in terms on your uh, side of your face. So you continue counting down and you can count to the left, which is your width. So you look at your original picture with your lines and you see what line that falls on. Now also too, if you want to make it easy for yourself, you can always number it. You can number it from one to eight, left, and uh, right and that way you know exactly what number that you have to the box number that you have to look at so either way you know you make that determination but these are another technique of transferring your picture onto your drawing uh, paper now, it applies the same way if you're doing oil painting and you want to put it on a canvas. It's the same situation. You have a, a canvas and you want to put that picture on a canvas and you would do, uh, let's say if you want that picture to be a 12 by 18. So you would get a, a canvas that or you would square it off to a 12 by 18 on your canvas. And it would be the same thing. So you transfer it uh, with your pencil. And once you have it, or you can transfer with a charcoal as well. Because once you have it on your canvas, and then you're ready to paint it. Once you line everything up, and you look at it and it's all accurate to the picture, now you start painting your, your portrait onto your canvas. And the same thing you would do, like we're doing right now with the uh, pencil. You're using your pencil to draw on your drawing paper but you're using a pen to put the lines onto your original picture because the original picture have your plastic or your acetate over it all right so basically that's that's what it is so this is another way of transferring your picture onto your 
drawing paper or onto your canvas or onto anything that you want to use and it will become very accurate so those are the three steps that I just showed you and now we can start with the uh, drawing so it would be this is another lesson so the next lesson I would get into uh, another aspect of enhancing your picture uh, to make it become more livable uh, that you will see and people will see it as well. All right, so we're gonna go over what we just did. So that way we uh, we get to the next lesson after that. Okay, the first thing we did was to uh, take a picture because we're doing a self-portrait. So we took our cell phone and so the first thing we did is took our cell phone and we snap a picture of ourself. From there, we use the USB cable that comes with our cell phone and we plug it into our computer. And then we download the app where we can transfer our picture to our computer, which on mine is uh, because I got a Samsung so it's a different app. Whatever yours is, you go to the internet and, and it's free download. It just transfer pictures from your iPhone to your computer and you could download it. Once that is downloaded and then you can transfer the picture that you just took, which is today is uh, June the 18th. 2020 so I go to my folder and to my download the uh, the app that I downloaded with and I will go to that date once I get to that date and I would take the, the picture or the two ones I took two of them and I would uh, drag it to my desktop. Once it's there, I can print it, those pictures out. And once I print it out, and then the next step is to take the, the picture that I just printed out. It's use either my light box or my projector. And I will put that on a drawing paper. And it will come out very close to your picture because you traced it out. And all you need to do after that is to go over it and make sure that you have it uh, enhance it even better. And what we did with that was use a pencil set, which is the... Uh, graphite uh, pencil set that I was showing you and it's the Kimberly graphite pencil set and I used the 2H pencil so from the 2H pencil I can enhance everything that uh, that I draw it out to make sure is is mostly perfect I would use a kneaded eraser to erase out anything that I did wrong. And I will also use the 2H to darken in uh, the spots that's on my, uh, my face. So it, you darken it in, you correct, make sure the eyes are lined up, your ears, your nose, your mouth, your teeth, your chin. 
and it will be lined up anyway because you trace it out but I would make sure all that's correct after that I would I would use a uh, we have a stub and that's for blending and I also can use my fingers as far as that but we got up that far right there because the next step we will use the uh, HB pencil to do more of the uh, enhance the uh, drawing of the likeness of yourself and then once we finish it I will show you how to do the hair uh, and the clothes but you will see yourself very quickly as soon as you finish tracing it out you would see the likenesses of yourself so those are the steps so far and I will teach you more steps because there are a lot of lessons in this and so the next time when we come back it will be another part where I will show you f to do your enhance your your self portrait with the uh, HB pencil alright so that's it for now I just want to rehearse and go over everything that we just did and I want to thank everybody for joining me into my art gallery and uh, to learn how to draw your self portraits and again there will be more as well and I will show you uh, uh, the uh, steps which is basically the same steps for putting it on the oil canvas and you using as your medium oil and brushes right now your medium is just pencil and a brush but I will take you to them steps as well so again I want you to smile and always have a positive attitude because the art is therapeutic and it would definitely uh, reduce a lot of stress, anger and uh, a lot of other stuff that you need to, to make you feel better as you've gone through this uh, pandemic virus and you have to stay inside so until the next time we will do it again to the next part thank you very much for joining me and always have a smile on your face because it's all about you and your portrait thank you